Hi, I'm Ed Samuel, a career coach with Sam Nova. Our passion is optimizing careers. Today, we're excited to be launching a new bi-weekly video series called Career Trails. You know, our career journeys in many ways resemble hiking on a trail. We encounter dead ends, detours, obstacles, steep hills, twists and turns. Sometimes we get lost, stuck, bored, and yes, even surprised. On each episode of Career Trails, we'll be meeting new people. We'll ask them questions about their careers, gain their insight and advice, and even have some fun along the way. We might even meet a few of our furry friends. So let's kick things off. Today, we're here at Goddard Park. It's a 125 acre township park in Chester County, Pennsylvania. The park has 2.5 miles of trails. It's also the park where I trained for my one and only 5K and I'm still standing. So let's start our adventure and see who we run into today. Okay, hey, we met our first person uh, on the trail. So uh, could you give us a, your, your first name? Yeah, it's Patricia. I go and, by Trish. Uh, yeah, and what's your profession? I am an insurance broker. And if somebody wanted to get in your line of work as an insurance broker, what would be one or two pieces of advice that you'd want to share with them? Hmm. Um, the biggest thing is always be open and willing to learn and educate yourself about your the insurance profession, insurance products. Question for you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Have you ever made a career pivot, shifted away from one career to a new career? Absolutely. I had a uh, construction cleaning company that I sold in 1992 to get into the insurance uh, business. Why did you sell the company and, and what prompted you to go into insurance versus, you know, plumbing? <laughs> um, well, um, after 10 years, I was physically exhausted from cleaning. I did it mostly myself a lot of evenings while my children were being raised. And I looked at different positions. I thought about um, medical, nursing. Went for a year at Chester County Hospital part-time. Couldn't stand the, um, the gore, I guess, or just all the problems, and especially the kids. Uh, and then I needed something I figure I could, you know, retire when I'm 80 or 90 and being a chair. And I thought about, and I was uh, approached by the insurance industry to get my license. So, and you know, been 30 years. Yeah, I mean, we were talking off camera that, uh, there's something about horses and insurance. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what's your specialty? So my specialty is a uh, equine insurance specialist. Um, I insure 90% of my business is the equine world. It's farms, equine mortality, trainers, um, people that are professional riders, personal horse liability. So that is my true love is the horse industry. So it sounds like Trish, you took what you love and you merged it with a profession. And now you kind of get a best of, the best of two worlds. Absolutely. It's very true. Yep. Wow. Uh, I love it. Lo I love what I do. You know, if, if you look back in your career, mm -hmm. what's, what's one or two of the biggest lessons that you learned that you would want to give somebody, um, you know, no matter what stage they are? Uh, sure. what, 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 what's one of the big lessons? I guess the biggest thing is confidence. Have confidence in your ability and your knowledge. If you really like a certain product of the insurance, whether it's equine, whether it's trucking, whether it's hospitality, restaurants, um, if you truly love that industry and you can com combine both your love for the industry and the insurance product, then you never have a dull moment. You always enjoy your work. Super, super. And finally, if you, ch if you could choose just like one word, Trish, to mm -hmm. describe your career journey, Easy, bumpy, fun, difficult, challenging, stuck, boring, action-packed. What would that one word be? Ever-evolving, ever-changing, evolving. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Well, Trish, thanks so much for uh, sure. stopping, you. stopping your your hike here and uh, spending a few minutes with us. And uh, we want to thank you, and uh, we bless you on your way. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. So, hey, thanks for joining us uh, for a few moments um, on Career Trails. Uh, so, what's your first name? My name's Olivia. And Olivia, where are you from? I'm from uh, Oxford, Pennsylvania, so oh. a little bit further south yeah. from here. Yeah. So, um, what profession are you in? So, right now, I'm in politics. I'm working in a state representative campaign. Um, and I, I don't want to get too much into the details, uh, but it's been... Um, 
Politics is something I've been kind of going back and forth into uh, as I've found candidates that I really want to see lead communities. Um, and so it's kind of been a, it started as a passion project of mine um, as uh, somebody who wants to, you know, see different types of leadership in my community. Um, but this particular election, this is kind of like getting to the story where I wanted to be at. You know, um, like state politics doesn't isn't very lucrative usually, so I had to go back and forth being a teacher and then working on campaigns. Um, but what eventually decided to make me do this uh, full time was actually um, being in a toxic relationship. And what happened was I was working as a teacher in a very fulfilling position, but I was also doing it with a partner who wasn't treating me in the way that I deserved and what eventually got me to work on this campaign was when I finally decided to uh, leave and it ended up being quite a um, quite a stark experience because I, I literally had to just you know dip out and leave and um, and move back in with family um, and so that was very you know tumultuous and I wasn't really in knowing that we were working at the same job, I knew that you know as fulfilling as my teaching job was, I wasn't going to be able to stay there for much longer. Um, and eventually, knowing you know my thankfully my family knowing that um, knowing that I had an experience in politics, heard about this local candidate, and you know connected me to the campaign, and it ended up being a really good fit. And actually, this person who's running for office that I'm working with now is running for office, works with domestic violence survivors and people who are who experience relationship abuse. So it's actually kind of a wonderful way to cope, like full circle into um, something that I'm really passionate about and being able to make change in a way that's um, very that that's very close to home for me. Wow! Hey, th thank you so much for sharing. Um, yeah. You you know it, it it's so amazing. You took a personal challenge. You were you're in teaching, mm -hmm. um, and but and then you're in a relationship, and that relationship went south. It sounds like uh, in a big way, and you took that that moment that, that you knew you had to break away, mm -hmm. and you used that moment then to uh, kind of reevaluate what was important to you and what kind of profession you would want to be in. Yeah, exactly, and that's not to say that I didn't like teaching because I definitely do, and su and surprisingly so. There are a lot of things that that I, a lot of skills I take from teaching that I put into my current job and work really well. The ability to actively listen, even to somebody you don't understand right away or disagree with. Um, being able to explain in plain terms many like complicated processes that people are often too intimidated to like learn about themselves. Um, so yeah, t my, my teaching skills come into play a lot actually in my job now. Um, and I think makes me a really strong candidate for where I am. So at some point you're going to make a decision, I assume, to like to stay in the in the political arena, yes. perhaps. Yeah. So now I think for the next like little bit, I think it would probably, I would probably like to stay in the political arena for the next like ten years or so. Not to say that I wouldn't go back to teaching at any point, but maybe this is for another stage in my life. Beautiful. Well, yeah. hey, thank you so much for sharing. That was uh, really heartfelt, and uh, it's a type. That's why we're here because careers are rarely simple, point to point. And uh, I can't thank you enough for spending a little bit of time. But before we go, I'm going to just back up a little bit because you have a friend with you, a yes. furry friend. Yes. Uh, what, what's the furry friend's first name? His name is Simon. Simon. Hey, yes. hello, Simon. How long have you had Simon? Oh, I've had him for about seven or eight years now. He was a rescue. He was actually a stray for a couple years before we found him. Um, and it's just, he's so, he's so sweet and loving. All right. Well, hey, Simon. He's uh, beautiful. Yeah, no, you hey. Are. You're <laughs> Beautiful. Well, hey, thank you so much and uh, for spending some time and yeah. well, uh, have a great rest of the day. Of course you so we're at the end of the trail here at Goddard Park. Hey, before we leave you, here's a trivia question about Goddard. What creek runs through Goddard Park? To find the answer and a tip for your career, Please go to our website, samnovainc.com, click on services, and you'll see career trails. So thank you for joining us. Until next time, this is Ed Samuel, career coach with Sam Nova. Remember, each and every one of you have a God-given right to get to that better place. Hope to see you on the trail soon. God bless. Till you, till we meet